Um, just going to show you real quick how to do that chlorophyll filtration process. You should have gotten a syringe like this and then a plunger. It's up to 60 mils. We're going to target between 50 and 60. The filter should already be loaded inside this little uh, holder. So the first steps on that sheet I sent you, they've already done that for you. And they probably also sent you a brown bottle like this. You can use this for filtering off the water if you want. So you can write up um, the information on your site, or you can do like I'm going to do and just do it right out here on the, on the lake. Also have a pair of forceps uh, ready to take that filter out, and then some uh, tin foil they should have sent you. So I've taken my sample here. I already got it ready. All I need to do is take this filter housing, and it can only go on one way. The other fitting doesn't work. So just put that onto the end of the syringe like that, nice and snug. And then you're going to pour in your volume and measure it. Just note that your volume numbers are going to be upside down, so you have to read the opposite direction here. I've got 56, 56, and then you're just going to take that plunger and push it in and you're gonna, you don't have to save this water that's going to come out. And I'll usually um, hold that filter holder on with my fingers just so that it doesn't accidentally pop off with the force of the water. And then push that water through. It should be uh, somewhat difficult to do. All the water should come out through the through the end uh, nozzle down there. And once we're done, we're going to unscrew that holder, flip that filter out with a pair of forceps, and fold it in half, wrap it up in that tin foil they gave you. I think they gave you some uh, labels to put on there as well. I don't have labels, so I just wrote on my Ziploc bag that I'm going to put it in what site I'm at. Make sure all the water goes through there. That last pocket of air won't always go through, but as long as you've got all the liquid water through, it should be fine. All right. So that filters, so that syringe is going to be done. You should have new syringes for every one. So now we're just going to take this apart here. Backside, you're good. It's a little bit different filter than we're used to. This is a Metrocell versus a GFF. I'm gonna fold it right up inside the piece of tin foil here, and then we can um, freeze them if you have the ability, or ship them on uh, wet ice if you're gonna do it right away. I think that's what you're gonna do. Make sure you record that 56 milliliters on your chain of custody form as well as you can match up the bottle um, if you use the bottle the bottle number or the label number that they gave you and then like I said I'm going to label mine with the um, 56 milliliters right here as well as on that chain of custody form if you have any questions give me a call